My name is Kasia zwolak Szwajowicz. I work in TechSoup Europe as a communication specialist. Today, in this short movie, I'm going to tell you how to create effective visuals for your online trainings. I'm going to give you a few tips on why and how can you make your training content more engaging and more effective through its design and visuals. Stay with us, especially if you are a teacher, trainer or educator who would like to improve your skills in online education. A good place to start is to write what are you trying to communicate, who you are communicating to. Young adults, adult learners, kids, they have totally different needs that you should consider in your structure, but also in visuals that you are going to use in your online training. When you have a clear aim to communicate, now you should put all your design elements on one page and simplify your content. One page, one point. Have you got a simple idea to communicate? Just put one word per slide. Have you got a picture that better express that idea? Scale it up to fill the slide. If you do have a complex idea that really needs more details, try splitting up your points across few slides. Use as many slides as you need to tell your story. Just try to be sure to keep them simple and remember, one page, one point. So when creating your presentation, what you don't want to do is to have a page with lots and lots of dot points that people have to squint to even understand or read. What you do want to do is to make your presentation engaging for your learners. Your slides are for your audience's benefit and shouldn't function as your own personal teleprompter. If you say just about everything what your slides say, your audience doesn't know where to pay attention, to you or to your slides. To help your audience learn more deeply, there's another way. Simply use visuals that help explain the content with short labels instead of full bullet-pointed sentences. We've put together a list of must-have visuals in your online educational resources to help you create various visuals that can help each student fully comprehend the material. Some people learn better by reading, while others learn better by watching and listening. Creating video for each lesson or main topic is a great way to gather for both of these audiences. Another equally important visuals that you need to include in your materials are stock photos. There are tons of stock photos resources available for you that you might browse and select the most relevant pics to your online materials. Another great way to help you visualize your content and um, break up large chunks of text is to take advantage of illustrations and icons. They are just perfect to use in infographics and charts. Charts and graphs are the perfect way to help you visualize any numbers, data or statistics. But don't bamboozle your audience with too many facts and numbers. When it comes to figures and stats, definitely less is more. Infographics can be perfect ways to provide supplemental visual information to your students. This is because infographics can be used in a variety of different ways. There are how-to infographics, comparison infographics, process infographics, and many, many more of them. A 
Another important visual to include in your online lessons, especially while explaining processes, is screenshots. Imagine how much less time it would take you to simply pop in a screenshot and try to explain what your students should be looking at in a whole paragraph. It's a win-win situation for both of you to simply visualize exactly what your students should be seeing. Okay, but let's make it clear. Putting a nice picture in the corner of your PowerPoint slide doesn't create a visual training content. This is the difference between decoration and visualization. When it comes to find the right type for your presentation, what matters most is readability. Size up your type. Use a big font, 30 or more. This will make your presentation more readable and your content better too, because larger type will force you to leave only the most impactful text on your slides. It's so much easier and more effective if you use the same fonts and the same styles throughout the entire presentation. It's a lot easier for your audience to be able to understand what's going on and way much quicker if you have a certain font background that you use all the time and you don't need to think about it and create it from the scratch again. Every element in your design should fit together as a part of a whole. Every slide should feel like it's a part of the same story. So decide on your fonts, on your favorite colors, backgrounds, graphic styles, even one photo filter and apply it across all your slides because consistency is cool. <laughs>